No whores in the daughters of Sarah. <laughs> Welcome back to another day in the vlog. I have been in a little bit of a funk lately um, for like the past couple of days. And I know it's due to all of the <clears throat> deaths and funerals and stuff like that. It just has made me sad. It has made me um, not really feel like it's fall. Like I, I haven't really been enjoying the fall season this year. I put some pumpkins and stuff out on my porch. Like me and my son was out there and we was kind of like, we went out at nighttime because it's, uh, it's some lights and stuff out there on the porch because I got some lanterns and stuff like that. And I decided to, I saw some cobwebs and stuff like up in the corners of the ceiling and I was cleaning it off with the broom and then my allergies just kicked in real bad. I don't do good with like dust or 
anything dusty or cobwebs or anything i just started sneezing you guys and my eyes was running my nose was running and i was sneezing and coughing and my son was like mommy you're still sneezing i mean i was sneezing like crazy y'all i cannot deal with stuff like that but i was trying to clean it up and go outside so that was a bad idea for me to mess with that. But I'm gonna go outside today and I'm gonna go for a walk and just get me some fresh air, a little bit of sunlight, and just talk to the Lord for a little while, y'all, cause I just need, I need a break. I have prayed and told God to just take these feelings away from me because it's like, I don't like to feel sad, y'all. I don't like to feel, you know, I just don't like to feel like this. So put it like that. But I just been sitting here having a little bit of study. And can y'all believe that? <laughs> I was reading the scripture, girl. How about God said he don't want to, there should be no whores. How about, that's how he said it, y'all. No whores in the daughters of Sarah, okay, in the, in the children of Israel. Girl, if y'all don't believe me, I'm going to, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right here on the screen from my Bible. And I want you to look at it and just go ahead and screenshot and you can go back and read it yourself. Can y'all believe that? Whores. That's just how he said it, okay? He don't want no whores in the daughters of Sarah. So it's like you got to be mindful of like how you're dressing and stuff. When you see women that have like their head covered and they're dressed a certain kind of way and you be looking at them like, oh, they different. Like why they dress like that? That's why they dress like that. They've been reading and they've been getting some knowledge and they know what God is expecting of them. But if y'all look at 1 Corinthians 11, 5 through 6, It'll tell you if if you want to understand why they like the women's head be covered like this. Anytime. But every woman that prayeth or prophesy with her head uncovered dishonors her head. Like your head is supposed to be covered up. All of the women, not the men, the women. Your head is supposed to be covered up when you're talking to the Lord. You're showing honor and reverence to him that you are under subjection. Okay, that you're under under because it's order in God. It's God, the, it's the Father, it's Jesus, Yahushua, is what I call him, Jesus, you call him. And then it's the man, and then we, the ladies, are under the man. You're like all the way to the bottom. The only people under you is the children. So all you have all of these heads of authorities that's over you. So when you cover your head, it's like you're showing honor to the Lord and everything that's over your head, if that makes sense. Hopefully you get it. And if you want to know, of course, why they're wearing, um, if you ever seen something that looked like this, it's like, it's called fringes, okay, or zeep zeep or whatever they might call it. But they're also getting that from numbers. Numbers 15, 38 through 40. I put it on the bottom of the screen. But it says, um, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border i'm sorry that they make fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation and that they put upon the fringe a border of a ribbon of blue okay so that's what this is and when they wear this outside or they wear it every day it just reminds them of the commandments in the laws okay that they're supposed to be keeping So when they look at this, it's a reminder like, make sure you doing the right thing now that you're outside in the world. It's like a reminder. So if y'all ever remember when Jesus had these on, on, on the bottom of his garment, and remember when the lady was sick with some kind of issue she had and she touched the bottom of Jesus's garment, said so she was healed, he had on this. That's what this is. He had on fringes, okay? So those who are followers, of Christ like y'all say y'all say y'all believe in Christ y'all follow Christ but do y'all actually do what Christ did are you a true follower of Christ so when you see these people doing stuff like this they just been reading they've been studying and they know what they're supposed to do and the reason they stick out like a sore thumb or stand out like that is because God said that that's how it's gonna be you should be set apart holy and acceptable unto me 
Okay, so you gonna be, you a peculiar people. You a royal priest, so you like peculiar people looking at you, they be like, what's your religion? Like when I was, um, when I go outside, like I've, I've gotten questions like that. Like people be like, what's your religion? What's your religion or whatever. I'm like, I really don't really follow religion, okay? It's just the children of Israel. And another thing, if you haven't noticed, you see he keeps saying, tell the children of Israel. Tell the children of Israel to do this. Tell the children of Israel to wear this. He didn't say, tell the Seventh Day Advantage. Tell the Catholic. Tell the Christian. Tell the Norman. Tell the. You notice he's not saying that? He say, tell the children of Israel. So if the Almighty God is calling us one thing, why are we calling ourselves something else? Hmm. Meditate on that. And also, if you want to know why the women are wearing certain type of clothing that's like loose and not fitting, again, I just showed you that he said there should be no whores, okay? So it's like they they, they protect and they're not showing their figure. They're, they're, God is saying that is all for your husband to see, all your curves, all your bumps and all of that stuff. That ain't for the world. You're causing my men in the world to fall. And that is for your husband's eyes to see. And if you look at 1 Timothy 2 through 9, y'all know my eyes bad, girl. It say, in like manner, um, also let a woman adorn themselves in modest apparel. So he's telling you to keep yourself modest. Don't be dressing like a little hoochie mama, okay? And these are the instructions of the Lord. And if you say you love God and you following God, then you shouldn't have a problem with stuff like this. Or you shouldn't have a problem when you see people trying to adjust their lifestyle and stuff like that. Or, you, you know, you shouldn't have a problem with that unless you have a problem with God. Okay. So that's pretty much the things that I've been studying today. It's a whole lot more, but we're not going to turn this into no Bible study. Okay. So when you be outside and you start seeing people that's dressing like this and they got stuff on it covering their heads and they got on modest apparel, not showing their figure is something real big and oversized and all of that. Or you see somebody with the, bo the borders of blue fringes or something like this. Don't be judgmental, okay? Those people are just simply trying to obey God because they know at the end of the day when they leave here, that's who they got to stand in the front of. It ain't going to be you who got an opinion about the way they look or about the way that they dress. Everybody do what they want to do. Everybody follow who they want to follow. But I'm just saying all of that so you can kind of understand why you're seeing those things, okay? Those people know that when they leave here, they got to answer to that guy and they don't have to answer to you. So that's why they are dressed a certain way and they are doing certain things in their lives because they want to be in right standards with the father, okay? So I'm going to go outside and get me some fresh air, y'all, because I really need it. I have my head covered. I already said my prayers. I've done my conversations, but I'm going to get outside and conversate some more, okay? So I'm going to catch up with you guys a little bit later. Saying, and it's worth saying 
If you go in off emotion, then it's worth praying. When you know there's no other love, so together you stand. It ain't that simple and easy. used to be real kitty. Now it looks almost like a honey house. <laughs> they got ghosts and goblins everywhere, okay? These kids are out here having a ball though. They got a whole bounce house for the kids to play in, so. guys I just made it back to my house me and my son we just got back a few minutes ago and my son is just finishing up with his bath I did not expect us to be out so late y'all I left my tripod at the um, pumpkin patch and I gotta go all the way back there tomorrow and get my tripod I almost was just like forget it but I hate to buy something two times once I buy it once I don't want to buy it again and I left it in that wagon that my son was riding in. So when I called her that they found it, it was like, yeah, we see it. They was like, they sent me a picture, to, a text message with it. It was like, is this it? I'm like, yeah, that's it. It was like, girl, this thing look like something else. Cause once it's all, when it's all pushed in together with, you know, without the legs and stuff, it looked like it could be like a bat or something. So I'm like, yeah, that's it. So I gotta go all the way back and get that tomorrow. We stopped to like two stores. So I'm just feeling burnt out. Plus grandma came in town and honey, she got me looking so bloated and just burnt out. I bought me some wine and just got it on chill. Cause I know probably tomorrow night when I have some dinner or something, I'll probably have some wine. Cause I already know I'm not gonna drink no wine tonight. But anyway, I got phone calls that I didn't even know. People called me like an hour ago, girl. And I'm just texting people back. And so they probably think like, girl, I called you like an hour ago, okay? But I was busy. This has been a really busy day. Got to take library books back tomorrow. Mommy is always on duty, okay? I'm exhausted, you guys. I'm gonna sign out for the night and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.
Okay, you guys, welcome back to the uh, evening in the vlog. This is probably going to be towards the end of the vlog, you guys, because, again, I don't want it to be too long. I'm trying to just be a little consistent and show up for you guys. So, right now, of course, Mommy is always on duty, and I am making some dinner for tonight. So, I'm having, well, Legend is having <laughs> some macaroni and cheese, and, of course, I am having some green beans something he's not interested in eating this is the motherhood life and this is how it is so um he's having mac and cheese i'm gonna have me some green beans and some mash and we're gonna both have steak tonight okay so that's what's going on in my kitchen and right now i'm just going to get some of this stuff well i already pretty much got my dinner going i'm just going to do some other things that i need to do here and then I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine, girl. And I'm going to kick back and relax in a few minutes, okay? So give me one moment.
okay you guys we have come to the end of this vlog I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me I have cleaned up my entire kitchen I have got my little guy off to bed y'all know my mother duties never stop so I am now getting ready to get out of these jewels and all of this type of stuff and get myself together I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good night.